Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, we got some news. Let's just jump right into it, make a quick little video. Uh, will the IRS tax crypto in 2022? Well, nobody knows yet. And why do I ask? So we have a Nashville couple. Uh, they filed suit against the IRS over taxation on pesos, staking rewards. I stake and I mine, so this may apply to me as well. Depends on how they settle this. So what am I talking about? So last year, a national couple, let's see, they're trying to set legal precedence with the U.S. IRS, boo, over the taxation of unclaimed, unsold stake, Tezos coins. All right, now they're going to release some documents later today about what's going on. And uh, they, ex they, the IRS agreed to make a refund of the paid tax on 8876 XTZ Tezos coins were 3200 bucks, right? Back to the Nashville couple. The coins were reportedly created as staked rewards in 20, 2019. So they reported it. I think you reported it as income, so they were taxed on it. Good old IRS, man. Trying to keep the man down. All right. Per the reports, the couple filed a complaint against the IRS back in May 2021, requesting that the tax they paid on the quoted stake Tezos coin be refunded. The couple backed their claim on the grounds that the IRS was onto something unprecedented and unprecedented, <laughs> which is tax creative activity rather than income. It seems like these guys, these IRS, these government agencies like we're seeing right now, just push out stuff without even checking the laws or having good attorneys to say, no, you can't do that. They just do it and they, they just hope people don't question it. And that's what we're seeing from school boards, the IRS, to local government. It's just like enough is enough, man. So anyway, I'm good on these people for calling them out. Uh, taxing. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Tax creative activity. Taxing newly created cakes, books, or tokens as income would have far-reaching and detrimental effects on taxpayers and the U.S. economy and is without support in General Revenue Code, Regulations, Case Law, or the Constitution. The couple posted. All right. So with the agreement to refund the Jarrett's, the IRS might have set a landmark that is entirely going to boost the fast-growing staking industry in the United States. Uh, according to Forbes' report on the same matter, the Jarrett's are planning to pursue this case further in order to uh, seek comprehensive protection against similar tax crackdowns in the near future. Yeah, because the government will say, yeah, we'll give you this, and they'll come back next year and slam you with penalties and late fees and stuff like that. That's just how it rolls, man. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. Lots of information coming through. It's emerging that this was not a court ruling, but in fact a one-off settlement. Something is often done to avoid a, pre a precedent setting decision being handed down, but new info is still trickling out, all right? The IRS will not tax unsold state crypto as income. All right, that's pretty interesting. Glad this is coming up. I always wonder too, like when I'm mining or staking, I'm generating stuff. I haven't sold it. I was given it. And like when you, I don't know, it just always, it always raised the question with me as well. I was given this money by creating it and I will not create a taxable event until I sell it. That's the way it should be. But what happens when you stake and mine, those coins you make are treated as income. Uh, let's see. So here's another article. Fate of millions, fate of millions of taxpayers hanging the balance of IRS crypto staking case. Everyone's looking for clarity around crypto staking. Okay, the couple has refused the refund, hoping that moving forward with the case will help to establish a precedence for uh, taxing staked tokens. All right, I love it. I'm loving it. I love that people are pushing back and questioning some of these crazy rules that are just being thrown out there. And again, like I said, they just hope people don't question it. They have rejected the IRS offer of a refund, opening up the possibility of court ruling that will give him and millions of other taxpayers in the same position the ability to confidently plan for the future. So he's this guy's a hero, man. He's doing it for everybody. So this is good. This guy's a hero of the crypto world. All right, that's all there is. I thought I'd bring this out there. So it's kind of pending. They were offered a refund. So at least the IRS did recognize that staking and mining, I'm saying mining too, you shouldn't be taxed on it until you sell it. A trial may help establish a precedent for taxes involved with staking digital assets. Advocates hope, but tax expert insists there is a long way to go. Yeah, it's hard to get the government to say, no, we're not going to take all your money. It's crazy. All right, I'm out. Take care.